Hey guys, it's Breath of the World. Welcome back to our channel, or welcome if you're brand new here today. So today's video is more of a... I don't want to call it chill, because it's just going to be like... A mess. A huge mess. Where we'll be opening... A whole a, bunch of dolls. Yeah, a lot of dolls yeah. that I've accumulated from... So basically... Yeah, so this is going to be like a birthday video for him like a birthday unboxing of all the gifts he got my birthday was over a week ago yeah on but then we accumulated more stuff on his end yeah so we we're like let's just let's just combine everything a little, just do, just a little this is not little literal oh i thought i said little i'm like this is mm. not little mm. so yeah um i will show you real quick what i got for my birthday um 2023 fabulous pets cleo just disclaimer i will not be reviewing i'm just gonna show you everything mm, yeah um this is so this is not wasn't really like a present or like a self present i did get myself as two self birthday gifts shadow high series three berry skies she's on the shelf right now i'm not gonna get her i can't be bothered to and i got myself the rainbow high shadow high two pack with sunny and luna also on my shelf will not be getting them but i did get those three for my birthday like a few days prior L last two weeks ago two weeks ago actually we got them yeah two weeks ago uh, but anyways, that's not important. And I also got myself yesterday because I grew to like her. Rainbow High New Friends, Lilac Lane. And she is the tallest. CJ's right impact. He doesn't even have her, so that's like <laughs> his impact. Um, a mystery doll that's from Frank. And I'll be opening. You'll see my live reaction. Um, another Lika Chan doll. There's the hashtag Lika Collection. So she's the taller one. And also got from one of my friends. This is from Don, looking brass. He got me bringing from Sasha. Thank you again if you're watching this. Um, I'm not opening her. She's gonna stay in your box, and I did want to know about Sasha eventually. Anyway, so I'm glad I got her. So now we have everyone minus Eaton. Eaton, new unbox, which is great because I really love the packaging. And throughout this reboot, um, I want to want to get almost everything new unbox because why not? Um, and last but not least, which is kind of a crazy gag, is 2012 Bratz Boutique Jade. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy because I've been wanting this doll for like the last few years of me recollecting. So it's very, I'm very happy that I have her with everything. I do, I did complete the collection. I do have Chloe, Sasha, and Yasmin. Um, I have to fix them up if I ever want to take a photo of them. I also do have them with everything, including their store displays cash registers everything because i was like i'm not getting rid of anything even the hand the handles i finally have all the handles so yeah i'm very happy that i have her so i got <laughs> this <laughs> this i'm not gonna reopen this on video because i don't think anyone cares but this is a fashion pack for uh bon bon which is my favorite talk yeah then we have a tween it was a gift from emil he just randomly got her for me, and I wanted her, so I'm happy I have her. Then we're going through. Uh, where did this doll come up? I forgot, like 2000s or something. Whatever. So I had I bought a lollipop girl for myself because I wanted one for a while, and she was my favorite one from this line. We will be opening her in this video. <laughs> and last but not least, I have Pre and Punk Cameron. And I've completed my premium fun collection. I just realized that the British flag in the background is different. Severely different. You see? see? Mm, oh yeah. Severely different. The, 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 the front is the same. one is like more like... Saturated. Vintage looking. Yeah, and saturated. And this one, they kind of like desaturated it and made it look... It's more just, flat. Yeah, it's flat. I still try to modernize it, but it doesn't look good. But um, it looks good, but it just looks meh. So yeah, this is the main differences from the new one and the old one. As you can see, like I said, this one is more saturated. I wish we had like one of the new unbox girls to compare it better. Yeah. But um, all we are missing is a pet, which would have been on Sasha's side over here. And this is camera new unbox, so you can want a cat. And I know for the girls, it would say on this end, Bratz World Destination 2 instead of just Bratz World. So yeah. Um, I honestly don't know who to open. I, it's kind of overwhelming because yeah, it's just it's a lot. Right. I think I'm just going to start with the smallest one that I have, which is this gift. 
Um, let me see. Okay, work. Everything's just falling apart. Should I open one while you open one? Yeah. So, I'm also gonna open the smallest one first, which is the gift you got me. Her name is Holly Happy? Yeah, Holly Happy. Her name is Holly Happy. I just got her had, uh, the Haribo twin. <laughs> yeah. This is her little sister. Right? I wish they had... I don't think they look like that much, but no. I wish they had, like... A full set of the twins with different candies. Mm. I feel like that would have been oh more God, fun. Maybe they will come out with more eventually. I, I mean, so. the candy, the candy LOLs are selling really well. Surprisingly, yeah, those two really well. like they just keep pumping out new series of them. Mm -hmm. So I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised. I haven't bought a single one. I always wanted one, but like spending ten dollars on a ball and it's you too don't much. even get who you want. It's too much for me. Especially if you're looking for a specific one. Yeah, I think. That series is like a year old because I remember getting the Mike and Ike brothers. Also, yeah, yeah. Also, I really like the box design. It's so cute. I almost want to keep the box. So I'm not gonna do that. Box. A lot of ways. So, yeah. Uh, so we're gonna get to opening. So while he unboxes that, I'm gonna open the package. Oh my god! You're lying. Oh, she definitely has nylon. <gasps> nylon? You mean poly? No, she has nylon. Nylon? Yeah, I told you this. They have nylon? Well, only her. Anyways, shut up. Oh my god. Stop. I didn't know that had nylon back then. Yeah, only her, from what I heard. Oh, that means you can fix her. Yeah, I'm just happy about that. I'm keeping her like this, though. That's not, so cool. This outfit is too cute. This, she, she, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if you were gonna like her or not. No. I actually wanted her back then, but I couldn't like find her ever. Like oh. anyways, so this is a surprise. She's so gorgeous in person. So he got me the 2013 costume bash Chloe. Oh my god. Okay. She's so her cute. makeup, her face makeup. It's so, so pretty. Also, this is kind of like the only brat stuff from that era to leg legitimately have nylon hair. That's crazy. This is not poly. This is nylon, y'all. Like, you see how it runs through my fingers so nicely and the curls are holding up. This is nylon. Before this, I was telling you a lot. You're gonna have to reboot this girl. But not anymore, I guess. I was thinking that you got me the masquerade by Bratz, Karana, the vampire mm -hmm. girl. I thought you got me her. And I was ready to buy like pink curly nylon for her to reroute her, oh. or like you know wavy nylon. Yeah. But honestly, this is so much better. Oh my god! Is thank she, you. She, I don't see her that often, like being posted. Yeah, me either. That's that's all she came with. Okay. Is she missing stuff? No, no, no. I think she's missing her earrings. But who cares? Ugh. No. She probably she probably supposed to go with pink studs. Who cares? They were not gonna be electroplated anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, thank you. You're welcome, babe. Uh, but real quick, um, I know I said that this not, this not, I'm not reviewing anything, but she came complete. She came with a headband, she came with her top, she came with the, this, the bolero, uh, I mean the vest, whatever. She came with her necklace, she came with these pants, which are so cute. And the best part, which you're gonna gag y'all, she came with her shoes, which are hot pink princess heels. That's so cute. Can you imagine? I remember when I first saw her, I really wanted her just because I thought she kind of was... I think the whole thing was great. Because Yasmin was a cowgirl, Jade was like Christmas oriented, mm -hmm. and Chloe was like a hippie girl. I We were robbed of a Sasha, but I don't think she was ever supposed to be in the line because um, I never saw a prototype for her, unfortunately. But I feel like she would have killed it. But... Oh my god... She cut, she's like very intact. This is this is literally nylon. That's crazy. This it's is really soft. Yeah, this is literally nylon. So I'm definitely gonna. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna rebody her. I should. Uh, you should keep her in the top one. I am. I look like might switch the other ones back. Yeah. Why I don't know. We'll see. Um. I don't know. But like. Yeah. Costume bash 2013 Chloe. I'm I'm a really slow unboxer. <laughs> I take my sweet time. He does. Um yeah, so this is crazy. Like I'm very happy that I have her. I was not I was not expecting her at all. Like I said, I was I was honestly expecting the I'm happy um, you like her. Yeah, no. I was scared you're gonna hate her. No. Also the seller 
took so long to ship. So Didn't you buy her before my birthday? Yes. She was supposed to come like around that time period, like last week. Mm -hmm. I mean, my birthday was last, was like when, whenever I post this video, my birthday was September 27th, which was a Wednesday. So I was over a week ago. So I'm like, hello. Mm -hmm. I'm happy I got her. Like, like I love slowly re rebuilding the 2013. 20, 2010s era Bratz army again. I, Cause I also wanted her as well. She's, oh my God. I love her. She's so cute. Now I wanna get the other two. I wanna, I wanna find Jade. I wanna find Yasmin. I d doubt Yasmin has, has, Yasmin definitely has Polly. I was not expecting her to have that one. I remember when somebody, when somebody said that, I was like, that's a lie. Oh, anyways. I think that's what's cool. So next, I will unbox Fabulous Pets Cleo. I remember from the fir very first look I saw of her, I had to get her. I thought she was so cute. Um, she does have Saran hair, which is a plus for me. Um, so there's her box, everything. There's the back. His artwork is definitely not dark or dark. It's somebody else, but it's fine. You know, brands can switch up artists whenever they want to. Um, I opened this in cards, so whatever. <laughs> it's out. <laughs> She's out. Yay. Okay, so what's her name again? Holly, Holly Happy. Happy. So this is Holly Happy. She's really, really cute. She has a uh, not long hair, like most OMGs. <laughs> I'm like she has dangling earrings to say they have little Haribo packaging. Oh, you pronounce that? Ha ha I say Haribo. Haribo. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, yeah, it's cute, and she's really colorful and cute. She comes with some surprises. In her little booklet as well. Uh, Holly Happy, this or that. She likes gold bears. She loves singing out loud and she loves rainbows. Oh, cute. So I'm gonna open her surprises or whatever they are. Oh, cute! What? She has this little bucket hat. Oh, yeah, has, like you holes. Just, girl, you see that stock? You see that in her artwork? Oh, yeah. But like, I'm showing it. Uh -oh. <laughs> so yeah, it has a little hole for her pigtails. Oh my god, I got her purse. So cute. I love this line. Is, is that line with the with Dracula and Claudine? Same line? Yeah. Oh, okay. I really wish they had Frankie and Luguna. Surprised they don't. Right? Like Frankie has a cute dog. Now why don't they add them? And then Laguna would be so cute, like an uh, under the sea inspired thing right. with um with um what's the what? answer? You gotta go somewhere. Yeah. I anyway. I really like uh uh Dracula from the line. I love her honestly. She's so cute. I wish she had her own doll. Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of Claudine's doll, but. That's because she has Polly. Yes, it is confirmed because Brooke has did a review and she does have Polly, unfortunately. Yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, but Dracula has Saran. I mean, yeah, I think most Dracula has Saran. Saran. Oh my god, Cleo has another phone. Okay, it worked. She's really oh, this is her hat. Aww. She also comes with a little. Uh, surprise packaging that's shaped as a gummy bear uh, snack thing. <laughs> now that made me hungry. Please, I'm okay. kind of hungry too. When I order, it's gonna have to be up too, too early. Yeah. This comes with her little gummy bag. It's so cute. Is that all the surprises? Yeah. Yeah. I miss it when they were like. They had a lot of surprises. They kind of, I feel bad that they downgraded because the twins are kind of like yeah. the best dolls out there, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Um, so real quick, my lovely friend Cleo has two orange shopping bags and these are, this is the store that she went to. As you can see, she's a shopaholic. I don't know, I love Cleo's dolls. I think Cleo the generation has been really good. I think that's your favorite. She is my favorite yeah. actually. She, I don't care for her signature doll that much unless she had Saran. But, Skull to Miss Secrets, I love both of them. And then her and Monster Ball. I'm sorry, Cleo's too good. Cleo's my favorite for this generation. Laguna would have been up there if her dolls were good. Sorry, Laguna fans. And then she has a coffee cup that says horse on it. And then she comes with a cute little tuck. 
Is this Tuck? Yeah, this Tuck. Oh, he got to have a real outfit. Stop, that's such a cute detail. Look. Oh, he comes my in a cute God. little outfit. Look yeah, at that. Cute outfit. <laughs> There's a little outfit. Aww. He's so cute. And then I think honestly, the thing what made this doll like sellable is that his set is back. She's back. And she's so cute. It's I love how they made moment. Huh? That Britney moment. Please, literally. <laughs> Oh my, but I love how they made his set actually like interact with Cleo. Like you That's could actually, so cute. Could, you could actually put her into Cleo's body or any Cleo's body. And she matches Cleo actually, cause they both have the same necklace and little crown. So cute, I'm sorry. Like she's so pretty too. I, I, so I actually got her on my birthday. Like we were at Target mm -hmm. in Brooklyn and I was, I was not expecting to find her there. Like out of all places. First thing I see when I walk to the toy section, like one of the end caps, she was on the bottom. I was like, boom, Cleo. And then we went to another Target like way later in the day and found her there again, like more. So I was like, oh, okay, it works. So I could have came here with anything, but I'm happy with the one I have. Also, she has like this ring that kind of reminds me of G1 Nefira's ring, which is so cool. Honestly, I hate to say this, but in a few years, this doll, when she becomes rare, according to stupid people, this ring, people are gonna oversell this ring. So get your Cleos yeah. now, y'all. My, my nephew is missing the ring, unfortunately. And then she comes with this cute little purse with um, his set's face on it. But yeah, oh, and she comes with these um, earrings, this cute little gold crown. And like I said, her is Saran. So happy about that. Um, I can't wait to fit her up when I can. I was not expecting her to be a ponytail, if I'm being honest. But I love her. She's very pretty. I definitely recommend getting her. This outfit is so cute. <coughs> Excuse me. Very Cleo core. And the shoes. Oh. Oh my god. That They're course. so detailed. Oh wow. Okay. It's giving G1. Literally. I kind of wish they painted the detail, but mm -hmm. hey. But anyways, that was Cleo. Yeah, I'm also done with I'm still on the same doll. I'm done with the Holly. She's all dressed up. She has a little bag. I also really, really love her little belt. It's so cute. It like is cute. Goodness. Yeah, so if you like tweens, I feel like you will like her a lot. And yeah. I remember the first time I saw her, I was like, oh, this doll is a mess. But then, like, seeing better pictures of her, I'm like, oh, she's so cute. I always so, liked her since day one. It's a real one, I guess. Yep. I love the tweens. Who doesn't? <clears throat> Hopefully, we get a series five. Oh, you missed something. What do you miss? Oh, shit. Just has sunglasses I missed. Girl. Ooh, up for so next, we're I'm gonna open a uh, lollipop girls. Her name is uh, BB. I'm BB. I'm from the island of Barbados. Queen. Queen. Caribbean girl. Meet the lollipop girls. International fashion models from around the world. Bridget from Germany. Cassie from Southern California. Kiki from France. BB from Barbados. Lulu from England. And Cece from Down Under. Australia. Australia. Lollipop girls are fashion icons. Long legs, big eyes, sweet smiles, gray hair, sassy clothes. A unique style combining youthful innocence with grown-up confidence and attitude. The lollipop girls, a look that is truly delish. Well, yes. Cute. Well, yes. They're the lollipop girls. So, yeah, I'm gonna open her. Uh... I forgot to add. Cleo comes with selfie stick with a new phone and it's just a selfie of her and his set and tut and i guess a holder that represents the monster high school at. i think it's so cute it's like it's very clear actually it's like i don't i know damn well she spends her time on it on eat talk like talking her trash i kind of like how cleo's more likable this generation like they gave her a relationship with Frankie, which honestly was very unexpected for me. I was I didn't watch the episode myself. I saw it like all through my timeline because they were all freaking out, and I was like, "That's actually very cute." I actually really like that a lot. Um, I like that we are getting like you know like actual nice, very like very nice queer representations, for, especially for Monster High, you know, because kids will be seen, will feel seen. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's very nice. And I hope to see more pretty Cleo dolls in the future. Yeah. She might have business. Where's Tut? Right here. There she is. Or he. Whatever they, whatever they are. I don't know. Don't fall. Boy. 
Okay. Look a mess, but hey. Hey. So yeah, get your clears, y'all. <laughs> These little twisty things is bringing me back to toys back then. Like, like the, the early brats. Yeah, the early brats and like every single toy like they have like this little metal. I'm trying twist. to think the girls right now when you find the girls right now they know new boss. Did she come with that? I can't tell. I don't I remember. That was like two remember. years ago. I don't remember. Me either. I don't remember. That was like two years ago. She probably did. Yeah, but but I do back. remember <laughs> I do remember Funk Out Jade when I got her years ago. Had the twisty things. So that brought me back. Um who else do I want to open now? We're fucking old. Yeah, that. Um Just anyways, that so old. I'm gonna open Lilac Lane next. And I love opening rainbow high boxes just for the simple fact that they're so easy to just slide out. Because they're literally held by two pieces of tape. And then... Oh, this is the back of the box, by the way. This actually was, this, this actually was illustrated by Dark or Dark. And also Shadow High Series 3. I almost said 5 for some reason. Like, I wish we could... I hope we could make it a 5. <laughs> oh, they come with a little booklet. Like, like a... Character booklet. Yeah, oh, it's bringing all the characters and their backstories. I don't know if I want to read this a lot. Anyway, so this is what she looks like. I think she's very pretty. She is. She's, she's extremely tall. Jesus Christ. I'm kind of overwhelmed. She's tall as hell. <laughs> the heck? I kind of miss when toys came with book booklets. Like character booklets? Yeah. Like, I feel like Monster High popularized that. Did they? Um, Not character booklets, but like... Like, oh, like information booklets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Bratz? Like Bratz. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I just realized with camera, we're gonna get one. Oh, you're right. I did unbox Miss Girl. She has reused earrings from somebody. I don't know who, but they are reused. Um, she does have this... Um, Orchid color purple curly hair, which is actually pretty in person now that I see it. She has like, a lot of purple accents, like purple eyes, purple eyeshadow, light brown eyebrows, slightly purple pink lips. She comes with this outfit, which is just a sweater with like beads on it and like a white collar, this purple pleated skirt, white knee high socks, which will look ridiculous on a regular rainbow high ball considering she's super tall. And then these like jeweled like lace up heels and silver um i think she's a very pretty doll i'm not gonna front this outfit is not the most exciting in yeah, rainbow high because bad. i've seen this with junior high violet and it kind of looks better on junior high violet it's also boring yeah i don't know but i do have a i do have a restyle ready for her so that's also one of the reasons i got her but she's very cute and she also does come with accessories. So over here she comes with these, okay. Doesn't want to come out. She comes with these glasses, which are in lilac. Um, I think these are the same mold as um, lavender from Shadow High. Except she doesn't have them on, thankfully, because it would have been tragic just trying to. She's so cute. Oh my gosh, she's tall. She's are they the same height? Great. No, I think she's taller. Oh, be careful. No, she's um, taller. Put her on camera. Yeah. If I open that BB, and she's still taller than... What's her name? Violet? No, it's Lilac. Lilac. Girl. Close These enough. names, girl. So, I'm gonna go over BB. I don't know if she has Saran or Polly, because her hair is gelled up, and I'm not gonna wash it, because it's perfect the way it is, I feel like. I feel it. I think it's Saran. I think it's... Uh, doesn't matter. We're not washing it anyways. Yeah. I these dolls are so cute. Like I kind of want more now because wow, they're so like edi editorial looking, and I kind of miss like this era of like fashion dolls. Like everyone was like so like cool, and like I want that to to come back. Like I hope Bratz brings it back because Rainbow High was I hit and miss with the fashion in my opinion. I agree. Uh, like I feel like the only doll that. Is yeah. screaming fashion is two packs, um, sunny. Mm -hmm. That's it. I feel like she's the only one, in my opinion. Like everyone else is like you have, like half a serve here and there. But it's like unfortunately because a lot of them are like a lot of the new dolls are serving face, but the outfits are not mm -hmm. giving. Like I feel like the last good line that serves both face and fashion 
with Shadow Eye Series 2. Also, she comes with this purple purse. It has RH. It's plastic. Yeah. I feel like the last line that was serving face and fashion were lines were both Shadow High Series 2 and Rainbow High Series 5, which were both released earlier this year. Mm. Um, yeah. So let me just go over her real quick. Uh, she is very cute. She has a, a over articulation. Wait, it's kind of stuck. But I want to break the doll. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Well, she can move it better from this side. And she has this cute little short dress. And pleather boots, like fabric boots, like from back then. Oh. Like, that's crazy. Up I am scared to play with these boots because uh, pleather does not age well. This is from the early 2000s. We know one, we know a thing or two about brass pleather specifically. Yeah, yeah, Nasty. Yeah. The faces are really unique. Like, I really like them. They remind me of Twiggy, the fashion model. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Like the doe eyed face. Yeah, like very, like, yeah, very Twiggy. <laughs> They also bend and snap on the legs, which is cute. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, so that's BB. So Lila, she does come with like a diary. Well, or like a notebook or whatever. It does have like the Dior inspired logo in RH. And then this is she has nothing in there. Then she also comes with a pen. Uh, she also come with this is not a test tube. This is a, a beaker. It's a beaker. So it's a beaker. She's missing something. She comes also comes with two test tubes. This doll's kind of funny because, like, she's a fashion design major. So I guess they made her look like she's in science class or something. Like, it's cute that all of them do have something going on with them, like, in this line. But it's just, like... Okay. <laughs> also, I'm not a big fan of the outfits in this line. That's one thing that's, like, drawing me back from them. Yeah, but I do like Lila. I like Lila. I, I, I know like... I like, uh... Let's see the girl's name. Blue. Blue's face. I love I like blue. her face. I like her hair color. I love blue. But like, mm. I don't know. The outfit is... The outfit gives series one ruby in turquoise. Mm. But yeah, that was lilac and that was... Um, BB. BB. Can I see her? We need to get her her stand. Yeah, she needs to stand. It's tall enough. Oh, wow. Wait, she has waist integration? Yeah, she does. Mm. Oh my gosh. Twist and turn. Oh, oh, she does? Oh, interesting. Yeah. She has that, but no ankle or no ankle. No. Wrist. Wrist. <laughs> ankle. Oops. Oh, they also all come with lollipops. Thank you. So, is there a removal? Yeah. Ah! I love that, actually. Mm -hmm. That is so cute. Stop. I love oh, the boots. She looks. So cute. I want to see her feet. I don't want to put these back in, so. Wait. No, I don't want to. I'll do it. I'll do it. Wait, let me see her outfit. Oh, she comes with panties. Oh, wow. Wait, let me take her photo. Yeah. I'll take her photo. Why well, does that? I'm gonna open hashtag Lika. I don't know her name, but I'm gonna say she's makeup um, inspired. Um, yeah. Okay, so these dolls came out in 2002. Oh, okay. so cool. like right. Has the Jan McQueen signature in the back, which is the designer of the dog, I think. Yeah. Okay, so this is the cosmetic doll. She's so cute. She, as you can see, she comes with brown hair and bangs. And she comes with a cute little um, top and skirt combo. Is it separate? Yes, it is separate. Cool. Um, if you watched our Lika video, um, the Likas, the, the hashtag Likas come with like a two piece bra and panty set. Um, what I'll be showing, you can go back to that video. To see what it looks like. Um, so this is how their bodies look like. They're really slender. Oh wow. Yeah, and their feet is very similar to Barbie's feet, I might think. Maybe a little bit longer. I think it's pretty similar. Yeah. Yeah. She could probably fit in Barbie's clothes. Probably. Um, so yeah, she comes with stickers. Which is so cute, which are also like the other hashtag Lika dolls from that line. Um, then she comes with the accessories over here. Yes, this is a book. No, this is not a book. I could be wrong. This is 
supposed to be a palette? Probably is a palette. It is. It's, it's a lipstick set. So I think you're supposed to put. Oh, oh no! Oh, so she the detail. That is so cute. Stop. Okay. So she comes with a cute little lipstick set that you open. I don't know if you can remove them. I don't really want to. I think you could remove them, but I'm not going to. Um, then she comes in this little. Oops, sorry. In this little bag, she comes with a lip thing. I don't know what this is supposed to be. And then she also comes with little things like more lipsticks, an eyeshadow palette, and a blush palette over here. Um, so a lot of things are held by tape, which is cool, interesting. Ah, okay, it works. So over here comes her clothes, or the rest of her stuff. So she has two lime green socks. And she comes with a bag that says hashtag Lika that comes with a, oh wow, cute. Um, be a beaded um handle and it says hashtag Lika to see through and you can put her um makeup accessories and it does open on the bottom half and then her black shoes which are pretty cute um she doesn't come with a background like the one that he got which is like the school one she just comes like it's that, which is fine with me. And she comes with one of the worst stands I've ever encountered in my life. I hate those. I don't like the stand. She's getting her own. My Lika has fallen from. <laughs> yeah, because it's annoying. Stupid stand. But anyways, I'm still opening mine. So I am a bit scared. Oh, her hair is in the fucking. That's fine. <laughs> That's and like scary. I said, she does come with like two piece outfits, a top and a skirt. And this is what she looks like. She's adorable. Um, yeah. Okay, not so much garbage on me. So while he goes over Lika, I'm gonna start opening my final doll. I think this is my final doll. Yeah. This yeah. Is uh, pretty important camera in. <laughs> Sorry. I has this has a little warning in the back. Do not expose grad boy's head to water as it may cause hair to fall out. That's so funny. That's not good. <laughs> At least they tell you. I know, but I'm just saying, it's like, girl. Also, I really like how I painted a little booklet here that says London Fun Facts. I wish they did that for the new ones. Like, that would be maybe, like a new Maybe they wouldn't age well. I doubt it. It's just fun facts. London fun facts. It's a lot of read. Does that have looks funny? Like little facts. On both sides. Megan chops so till she drops. On the, cu on the cutting edge, the first punk styles were created by cutting off thrift store clothes. Check out the market at Portobello Road for totally rocking vintage finds. Okay. Welcome home, your majesty. Buckingham Palace is the queen's kicking pad in London. You can tell whether she's home by... Uh, I can't even see that. You can tell whether she's home by how many guards are in front. Two when she's away, four when she's chilling at home. Well, we don't longer have a queen, right? Well, they don't have a queen. <laughs> I forgot. That's why it didn't age well. There you go. What well, a fish story. Fish and chips is as popular in England as burgers and fries in the US. US. We our British style top. Wait, I read that wrong. <laughs> we eat ours British style top with lots of as Chloe and Jade eating fish and chips. Here's Big Ben. Actually, Big Ben is the name of the giant bell inside, not the clock. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Fun facts. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> then the last fact. London Bridge is falling down. Actually, London Bridge was moved to Arizona in the 60s. Girl, how? Oh, frick. Okay. The bridge in this picture is officially called Tower Bridge. Yes. Go figure. 
the more you know. We learn a lot of we learn a lot in these videos. Yeah, and then <laughs> Malika is done. This is what she loves. She also did come with bright green stud earrings, which is so cute. Put her accessories in her little bag, and yeah, she's ready to go. She's so cute. I can't wait to wash her hair and put her on display with a proper stand. And hold on. So the last doll might be not overwhelming to open. Okay. So the last doll is the gag, kinda, is the Brass Boutique 2012 Jade. Um, I'm always down to get a lot of dolls from this era because I technically, I wanna say I grew up twice with Bratz. Once as a child, like when I was super, like really young, in the mid 2000s. And then, I always keep these by the way. And then in the 2010s when they had their first reboot, I personally think that's kind of, besides now, I think that it was, that reboot was, I kind of prefer that reboot versus 2015, obviously. Um, only because, I don't know, I just, I just, I was just fond of seeing brats in stores and brats, you know, like basically beating the lawsuit from Mattel and getting like, basically getting their lick back deservingly. So, yeah, I don't know. This era is very nostalgic to me. Every time I think about it, it's like, damn, I wish I... I and also going to the stores, and I see, like, just, like, a sea of Bratz was always nice to see. Mm -hmm. um, I would love a Bratz revival this big, if I'm being honest. Like, but I'm glad they're taking it slow. I don't want, like, you know, them to just keep releasing stuff, and then they don't sell, you know? Because right. I was actually, like really bad back in the 2010s era because mm -hmm. honey it was it was kind of bad for them after a while unfortunately but i remember i don't think i ever told you this there was a sale in like early 2013 where all brats just went down to ten dollars no matter the line every really? single brats still went down to ten dollars that's crazy yeah like even like brats boutique i was desperate to find jade but i did end up getting koi and sasha for ten dollars yeah that's when i found her Later 2013 in Marshalls for like 12, but it doesn't matter. It's still like around the same price range. But every single Bratz doll, no matter who it was at Toys R Us, was $10. Oh, wow. It did not matter. I guess they were uh, clearing their stock, but hey. Also, I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video because I am a shithead. Um, this was a gift from my two best friends, David and Abraham. Thank you so much. They know how much I wanted this doll for like the longest time. So thank you guys so much for getting her. Like, she's perfect. And I specifically like linked them um, which one I wanted. So there are hair variants with this line. The pink box, which is the batch one, has saran hair. And orange box, I could be wrong, but orange boxes had a mix of saran and polypropylene hair. Because the Chloe I got has Saran, the Sasha I got has Saran, and they both came in orange boxes from what I remember. But Yasmin ended up coming in orange box. She was probably toppling, so I was like, I'd rather stay away from those. But thankfully, this Jade has Saran here, so I'm like, I don't really want to deal with that. Oh, this little card! Also, it was so funny. Am I not a prototype skirt? Oh. It was so funny because uh, Abraham lied to the mill. <laughs> they was like, oh, the seller blocked me. So, so he wouldn't know that he got it. That is so stupid to me. Oh, the glue? Oh. It's so nasty. Girl. I do not miss this from old packaging. The glue? Really? It's going to take me forever. For Jada, I don't know. I mean, she's fine, but yeah. And also, you can keep this store display as a little playset, which I am keeping because I'm not putting it away. I unfortunately did have to throw away my other playsets because, yeah, but yeah, this is, so I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna talk about random stuff that she comes with. So she, this line for 2012 standards um, does come with a second outfit for the doll, so Jade is this very cute like black and pink I really love the dress. cat dress. It's very it's Jade, Jade by the way, it's like punk and it's also like very like jade because that's cats on it and it's the cats kind of do remind me of brad's cats from back in the day so that's her Speaking dress brad's cats what up love them you have little nigel here oh 
theme of the Pretty and Punk. Um, I think I think he's a re yeah. I think he's reused from the Peyton and Nevaeh set. Oh really? Yeah, he might be. I don't know. Could be. I, I could be wrong though. I do have I do have that one though. Yeah, but he's really cute. So I, cute. I wouldn't name my cat Nigel, but I re I always wanted a Siamese cat. I love this breed. I, I don't know. Ever since I was a kid, I, I was a big fan of like Lady and the Tramp as a kid, and I was obsessed with the Siamese twins. <laughs> Yeah, fun fact. <laughs> and then she comes with a black and red shoe box. So all the dolls in the line come with a shoe box. So basically like represent that you're buying from her store. And Jade's store is Cool Cat & Co. But for some reason, she has two different names. Like, let me see if I can show y'all. So it says L-O-V-E -E Jade. But on the shopping bag, it's Cool Cat & Co. So I'm like, what's the truth, Jade? Like. <laughs> Like, do you change your? Did you say change your store she has, name? She has multiple stores. I don't care. She's a business woman. Good for her, but like, be consistent. The other three are consistent. Also, I it's funny because I did give my Bratz boutique bags to like our designer dolls. What's funny is that Mobile Lola Jade is gonna match the Kukata and Jade bag because it's red, like her, like red, like her accents. So I'm excited to give it to her. Then she comes with these nasty boots. I always hated this shoe mold. And black black white and red um so this line comes with mannequins which i showed you with the dress and she also comes with a red mannequin mannequin stand which is cute i think one day i'm gonna do a little store display for black because why should. not a red star brush and hold on let's see let me try to get this out without harming the packaging because it's so cute. Oh! One of my favorite parts is her cat bag. How oh, cute. Oh, how cute this is. It's so Monster it's, High. Kind of. Shut up. <laughs> it's Jade, not Monster High. And she comes with a cash register, which I think the batteries were depleted because it doesn't like make the sounds anymore. Yeah. You I need to change the batteries. Thing. It's just whatever. I have, and it's in red. It's kind of like um very modern design even though this is 2012 it's still kind of modern and this line she, the, all the dolls come with three pairs of earrings so jay comes with two extra earrings um one in silver and one in hip-hop pink and then she also comes with a register monitor which has brats boutique on it um she also does come with i think this is so cute the the scanner and the scanner holder in white i do need to um, tie it back together last but not least i'm gonna go over jay just give me a moment because she's taking me some time so when he does that i'm gonna go over cameron's second outfit i still haven't taken out cameron so he comes with these very cute uh flared pants i really like them i will wear this in real life they're really cute in my opinion they're, they have little rips on it and they say uh punk london yeah they just say punk london <laughs> repeatedly it comes with a little cute uh belt this top is also very cute and a pleather jacket which i'm terrified for Hasn't peeled yet, but... Oh, he matches Koi. Of course. He matches <laughs> Koi's jacket. He also comes with a suitcase and the stickers. I don't know where I put them. But you already know how they look like. Yeah. So I'm going to take out the camera now. So I guess um, between 2008 and 2013, they made Jay like officially like the punk alt girl of the group, which is, it's been obvious for years. Um, and they decided to give her like a pink streaks as an edge or something But it's been becoming very evident throughout that era. Then this is her outfit. She comes with a striped shirt And then like this fur vest Kind of similar but not the same as my costume or Chloe. Then these like gray army pants and then Pretty iconic this era the sneaker heels in black and in pink oh. And then she comes with these like clear um, coral salmon sunglasses her hair is tied up into two buns on the top and what's interesting is that her prototype 
that is shown in the box actually has a whole different like hairstyle as you can see also what i loved loved the most about this era is that they came with little tidbits of them so it says well i'm gonna read the back of the box it says here it's shopping spree time at all the brats boutiques but this time it's obviously just jades they all have signature colors during this era which i think will make me fall in love like hard with brats during that era i don't know i just thought like chloe having blue sasha orange yasmin was pink and jade was green i'm like oh this was it i don't know i love that for me and so yeah it says right here and this was their art style in 2012 which honestly i think was like ahead of their time i don't know some people have mixed opinions about this artwork uh a person as a person who lived through this i was obsessed this artwork was amazing i'm sorry but anyways so it says in her little tidbit hi i'm jay when i hit the mall i'm always on the lookout for what's hot and on the runways but i always make sure it's still me her nickname is cool cat as we don't know uh her favorite pair of shoes her hot pink sneaker heels but girl they're black with pink soles and then her shopping splurges are pants and unique prints which are the pants that she actually has on right now um this outfit is kind of a lot to look at in today's standards but i was kind of living for it when i first saw her leaks in 2012 but yeah back to boutique jade um I, for I think i forgot to mention she does have like the pop pink under hair and i love saran he's here so good he's so cute right and she comes with a hot uh, a hot pink a red bag like i said it says jade cool cat and co i personally really hate these bodies <laughs> it's just pretty it out there Which but the articulator one serve the articulator one sir i don't like this one so much uh so now it's cameron's time okay so this is cameron and his first outfit he comes with a messenger bag, which is really cute. He comes with a little uh, sewn-in long sleeve with, with a Union Jack. Obviously, you can see that. <laughs> and these cute little plaid pants I really like as well. <laughs> like, this freedom punk fashion is like my favorite line in terms of like fashion. It's so cute, like I will wear that in like real life. And they all come with the same boots. All the boys, right? Yeah. So what annoys me about him, I knew this before opening, but yeah, he has orange discoloration on his body, like his torso. And like, I feel like a lot of Bratz boys back then are cursed with this. Like my princess, princess, Prince Aiden was cursed with that as well. He's been headless for like two years because I've been too lazy to buy a body. And he but, broke him. Yeah, his neck broke because whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways. I'm probably gonna buy like a Kobe or something in the store for his body. I'm not crazy mad about it. I am still happy I have him, but yeah, that's annoying about old dolls. <laughs> yeah. Um. So this is what this is what she looks like with the second outfit. So cute. Um. This is so nasty to look at. I hate these boots, and I don't know why they gave her this nasty color. With this dress it literally makes no sense like i know it's supposed to look like um somebody's buying it but i would not pair this together i would pair this with another pair of black boots or maybe with these shoes and some like leggings or something or like some knee-high socks but like i would i like to keep everything uniform when it comes to like color palettes i just think that white was kind of nasty with a black and pink dress i don't know this is kind of better, but yeah, it's better. I, it just it's just so plain. It would need like socks or something, but she's still cute. I love this jean. I'm cute. very happy that I got her. Thank you to Abraham and David for the gift. Also, thank you to Dom for the Sasha. Um, like I said, I'm keeping her new box. There's no point for me to open her. Um, and then you have I see it's the behind me. There's friends that I forgot to introduce in the beginning of the video, mm -hmm. um, which is. Pretty name from Sasha next to me. I think this is our fourth Sasha. We have that many pretty name Sasha's? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. You have your, your own to restyle, my own to restyle, our stock one, and now the new unbox one. Mm, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, she's that good of a doll. She I really was, like her, yeah. She's like amazing. You oh, forgot, she forgot to introduce Toga P as well. She's also our guest. Yeah, Toga P. She's right here. We got her at Walmart yesterday. <laughs> so yeah, cute. She's cute, soft. 
Christmas this year. I love mm-hmm. her. But yeah, I'm just, we, we randomly found her at Walmart when we were out yesterday trying to look for Bratz World, yeah. which was half a flop, half a sleigh, I guess. Also, this is what the back of Jade's... This is basically what Jade's door background looks like. Like I said, I am keeping this because it's a cute display. It's really cute. And it does open up. So, I'm keeping this because why not? Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, This is Cameron's poster. Oh, the back of it. And the back has the, the boys, boys. The prototype. So cute. They were supposed to have earrings. I really liked doing this outfit. I wish I had it. Me too. He has the best outfit. The way that Repro Dylan isn't far off from the original. But then again, you can't really mess up a Bratz Boys. You mean Ian? Close enough. Um, you can't really, you can't really mess up a Bratz Boys, in my opinion. Like, I feel like they're the last dolls that you could be messing up. Let's give her a booklet. I have so much of these. <laughs> so yeah, um, we reached the end of the video. This is probably gonna be a long video, but that's fine because we had a lot of dolls yeah. to unbox, anyways. Um, we do have a lot of crap to clean up, sadly, <laughs> but. It was a fun one. So tell me, you guys, who was your favorite doll from our video? For me, my favorite one, honestly, was actually the costume ploy. Oh, because like she was so unexpected. I was not expecting to get her, and I'm very excited to like clean her up. Um, obviously, at one point, I will be seeing her shoes for restyles. Because <laughs> why not? Yeah, like, it's literally princess shoes are hot pink. Who the hell doesn't want to use them? So, but yeah. Um, My favorite doll is. I can't choose. Really? I like them all. Yeah, me too. But <laughs> yeah, Miss pa- pa- Big Cameron, player over here. He's the one I spent the most on. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, hi Cameron. But yeah, tell us what you think. Um, and once again, just thank you, for, guys, for watching this video. If you watched it, um comment like and subscribe and follow us on our social media i will um put down our twitter and our instagram handles and obviously i can't grab all my dolls unfortunately but it's gonna be jade here saying goodbye